Good evening, ladies and gents. Sergeant Lane here. Sergeant Lane, Crippen County. I just wanted to put this footage up on the channel. Uh, it's, it's been sitting on, on my hard drive for a couple of months. And, and uh, so here, getting winter time, the Sasquatch have moved out of this area for the most part. So <clears throat> the day to day uh interactions has slowed way down and so i had to go through some of my archive footage to you know to get some new footage up put on the channel but anyways i got a lot of footage to go through and uh that that'll help keep the channel for the rest of the winter until the sasquatch come back and uh but you know it's still like new evidence because it ain't been seen yet. Anyways, <clears throat> I want to show you what uh, the tree organ. I, I've talked about the tree organ Sasquatch a lot, and just because it's uh, uh, just a, a certain breed of Sasquatch, there's multiple breeds of Sasquatch, but the tree organ one is the one that has the mouth design for easy access to the to the tree root system to get the fluids and the sap out of the trees and I'm going to show you what I mean by that when we look at this giant here so I'm going to edit just so I can draw it out for you see this giant in the bush see him right there Here's his broad shoulders, his conical head, his mouth, his nose, his eyes. Pretty easy to see. But uh, with that, I can't really show you up close to the mouth, so I'm going to go to the other picture real quick that has the more close-up version. Okay, you see here with this picture, the tree organ Sasquatch have, their teeth are designed to fit around oval, around trees, around roots, around trees, and you can see their teeth here go in a circle, 360 degrees, there's teeth like this. And they use that to bite onto the root. And then their tongue loops around almost like a straw. And they use that to get the suction flow of the fluids after the bite. Um, but I got several, several pictures and videos and, and, and evidence of this type of Sasquatch. Not, not, not all Sasquatch are the tree organ race. Some of them have fang teeth from the bottom that come up. That looks like the, uh, what, what they call it, uh, the orgs on World of Warcraft, those teeth are on the edge. Some of them's got those kind of teeth. Some are meat eaters. This type of Sasquatch here is a herb, uh, herbivore. They eat plant life, uh, mushrooms, and the fluid out of tree organs. That's what they survive on. They thrive on it. All the giants that I've seen here coming across the property, they are all of the tree organ breed. I don't know if that's the only ones that can reach that size because that size because they're the only one that can, can that can maintain enough substance to reach that height. I'm not sure, but I would say that if a giant had to survive on meat, it would decimate our deer populations. Um, it would it would decimate the local wildlife to such extremes that it would be noticeable by man. Um, but all the giants, they're they're living off the trees, and um, and they get all their substance from the forest. 
So I'm going to back out here so you can actually get a better image of him. Actually, I'm going to cancel this image. Go back to this image. Now that you can see him. For you all that can't see him, I guess just look at a... Kind of look at it, not like tunnel vision, but look at like peripheral vision. You know what I mean? Look at the whole picture at once, and the image should pop out at you. Also, when you look at this Sasquatch, you see a, a, a juvenile right here. See? Attached to his shoulder. Also, down here, Here's another tree organ Sasquatch. It looks like it has the mange. I've never seen one kind of look like it. Look at all the spots all over its head and its hair. It's missing hair real bad. Uh, you can see its weathered skin and everything, but it's missing. Uh, there's blotches of, of patched skin and stuff. It's missing a lot of its hair. It's a, it looks sick. That looks like a, that Sasquatch looks sick, sickly looking compared to the other ones that I've seen. Now, if you back out to this, you'll see the, with the vegetation, there's another one down here. You can see him glancing up around the tree root seam down there. There's a Sasquatch watching me right there on the clear base of the tree. Um, right here. There's a Sasquatch. There's several in here that just you gotta train your eyes to pick them out. Um, but anyways, if you look at the base of this tree right here is down here, right? The distance up to here, which this Sasquatch is crouched down, but I'm guessing he's an average size Sasquatch, probably six foot tall. Um, if he's standing up, but with that vegetation, it's probably four foot tall. Uh, but this Sasquatch in the background here is a giant. He is, he's humongous. Goes like that. There's his face for those who can't see. There's his eyes, his flared nose, his mouth. He's a monster. Um, I'm sure there's a couple more in there. Sasquatch never travel alone. Anyways, I wanted to bring this footage to you. You can, um, you can download this video and go through it yourself and pick out a lot more stuff, but I really don't have the time this evening to do it, but I'm sure there's some more Sasquatch in that, uh, in that image. But the main one is the giant leaning over right there. Then the one down here at the base of the tree. Then the one here at the top of the vegetation. And I think he's got a young one right here with two little eyes right there. If I... If I'm seeing it correct, I could be wrong on that one, but it kind of looks like it to me. Anyways, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers to the channel. I appreciate you. If you find yourself coming back watching multiple videos, just hit the subscribe button. Um, you know you're a squatcher if you're coming back watching multiple videos. We love to have you subbed. Look, here's a Sasquatch right here, too. When we're here above us. Looks likely riding on the giant's back. Anyways, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Peace.